all right so in the last video we have seen how to configure um, workflow right in this video we're gonna test it out because everything that you configure as an admin you have to make sure that you test it right testing is a part of uh, configuration and the development see when you do a real-time project right uh, it's not that you as an admin just go 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 and configure and that's it right you as an admin before you uh, pass on that uh, thing that you have built to the QA like the the manual testers it's you you have to test it first so every single thing that you develop right it could be any configuration or maybe a, a piece of development that you'd be doing in the development part anything that you develop make sure you do the unit testing means you as a business user logs in and see whether your functionality that you have built is actually working or not all right so let's go ahead and test the workflow that we just have built so uh, just a quick recap we built a workflow on the, the lead object and uh, we're actually checking if the record is created or if the record is edited if the city of the lead is new york then what will happen a task will be created under the lead an email will go to the lead saying hi lead welcome onboarded and the lead source field will be updated as purchase list because we're assuming if any lead is from this city new york would be a purchased lead data all right so let's go ahead and test it but before you go and test make sure that your workflow is active if it is not active if this checkbox is not true then your workflow will not fire so make sure this is checked now i'm gonna go to lead object so how do i test this entire workflow i just have to create or edit a lead right because my workflow is gonna fire whenever a lead gets created or edited so i have to make sure either a lead gets created or edited so i'm gonna create a new lead okay and while creating a new lead let's give a name called workflow testing and uh, give the city as new york new york what's gonna happen now the moment you hit save button by the way you have to give here the email address the email address would be let's say I'm giving my email address Rajesh I've given my email address and uh, let's go and hit the save button okay so what's gonna happen the moment you click on save button let's go ahead and see once you save the lead what you see is there's a task got created the task is this let me open the task in the new tab and if you remember the task information right that exactly what you have given right the subject is please do the background verification status is not in uh, not started the name is this right everything that we had uh, provided in the workflow let me just quickly open the workflow and uh, show you the task that we just have created if you go to the workflow and if you edit these actions and if you edit the task especially you'll see that's the same thing right please do the background verification this is a task automations same thing that you get to see over here so this task has been created automatically as part of the workflow action correct so my first job is over next automation is what is an email alert by the way who will get the email the owner uh, not the owner actually the email field right whatever the email address that i had specified will receive the email and the template is what template would be hello lead that's the template that we just have created correct and uh, that email will go from the current user email address by the way this current user rajesh chatterjee has some email address so the email will actually go from that email address i have given my email address only as the lead email so i will get i will get an email from my email to my email anyway let's go ahead and check it out so i'm going to log into my email address and show you um in the in the exact template that i have received as part of my email do you see here i got the email called hi workflow welcome to the um xyz company our executive rajesh chatterjee will get back to you and if i show you the uh, email alert that i just have created what was the email alert hello lead right how do i check classic and if we go to the email template that i have created that's the email template right 
the email template subject is what hello hi um, lead first name last name welcome to the xyz company our executive lead owner will get back to you now check this out the record owner is rajesh strategy the record name is workflow right so i got the email saying welcome to the xyz company hi workflow welcome to the xyz company our executive rajesh strategy will get back to you that's the same email template what i've received right now my second automation is over third automation is the lead source become purchase list okay now i'm gonna ask you a question my question is what if i just go and edit this what's gonna happen i will just i will do nothing okay just click on save button see if you go to the activity i got one more task created if you go to the email i have got one more email by the way uh, the task got assigned to me so i got a task please do the background verification this is the email i have received because of the task the task got assigned to me only right so apart from the task email i have got one more email same email welcome to the xyz company right you, you saw what happened you just edited the same record did nothing when you edited this record right the criteria was still new york and if you remember what was our evolution criteria our evolution criteria in in the workflow was created and every time it's edited what does it mean every time you edit if it matches the criteria it's gonna fire the same workflow actions again so if you edit 100 times and if 100 times the workflow criteria meets like the city is equal to new york meets then every time 100 times all these actions will fire that happened when you select the second evolution criteria and if you select the first one you know what happened right when you select the first one created this workflow will only fire first time when you create the record after that it's never gonna fire back again even though you edit and uh, even though it matches the criteria now let's understand the third criteria, which is very important okay to, to explain the third uh, evolution criteria, I want you to read this first and then I'm going to give you a real-time example. So read this line. It says that this rule, the highlighted one, okay, yellow color line, the rule is evaluated when a record is created and when a record that doesn't meet the criteria is edited to meet the criteria. I hope you got a little bit of it, but let me just explain this again with a scenario. Let's say my criteria was city is equal to New York. Okay. And uh, what you did is when you created the record, you made city is equal to New York. Clear? So it is matching the criteria. What will happen? It will fire the workflow action. Pretty simple. Now, next time you edit it. Understand this. Okay. Next time, second time you edit it and you you did nothing okay you st you let the city remain as new york only what's gonna happen now if you select the third criteria nothing is gonna happen now you got the difference between second and third if you select the second one then every second time also the same actions will fire but if you select the third one second time it will not fire even though it matches the criteria to not fire then when it will fire back again so let's say third time you made city is equal to a uh, new jersey is it matching the criteria no it's not gonna fire that's fine but fourth time guys fourth time you again made the city is equal to new york what's gonna happen now if you select the third one then fourth time when you make city back to new york this time the workflow actions will fire if you read this highlighted line it says that this rule will be evaluated when a record is created which is fine and when a record that doesn't meet the criteria is edited to meet the criteria this uh, record was not meeting the criteria was edited and now it is meeting meeting the criteria so if you understand this tell me what if i edit back again and put city is equal to let's say new jersey is this gonna fire no if i put it back to city new york yes it will fire if i put it back to city new york no it will not fire because this time it has already fired right now if i make it say, again i edit it i let the city remain to new york is gonna fire no again i let the city uh, be the new york it will fire no i changed back to new jersey 
will it fire no but after that i made it back to new york will it fire yes are you getting me this is the uh, difference between the second and the third one hope this is crystal clear most of the time we use the third one as the evolution criteria so you should know as an admin the difference between second and third okay all right so now uh we are pretty much clear about workflow and the evolution criteria rule criteria actions that's all pretty much about immediate workflow whatever we have seen so far is called immediate workflow where the actions are happening immediately whenever the workflow uh, rule criteria is matched right next video we're going to talk about something called time dependent workflow okay so time dependent workflow is basically where the workflow will fire definitely whenever it matches the criteria but the actions will not fire immediately the actions will wait for a certain time and then it will fire that's called time dependent workflow right so see you in the next video with the um, time dependent workflow concept